Today we are going to talk about process of fertilization, right? First of all, we have to define you know, what is meant by fertilization. Who will define fertilization for me? Yes. And this is something every medical student knows. Somehow everyone is curious about it. Yeah, who will define fertilization? Okay, he has made a very simple definition. Uh, the simplest definition of uh, fertilization is the process of fusion of male and female gametes, right? What is fertilization? The simplest definition of fertilization is the process of fusion of male and female gamete, right? That is process of fusion of sperm and ovum. Is that right? This is the simplest definition. But you know, you in your life, sometimes you come across very fussy people and they want a very good definition and very, very uh, precise definition. For those people, write another definition. We tell the same process more clearly. Oh, fertilization is a coordinated molecular process, molecular and cellular process. Fertilization is a coordinated sequence of sequence of molecular and cellular process which begins with which begins with with the contact of oocyte and sperm sperm so fertilization begins with the with the contact of oocyte and sperm and and ends with the and ends with the intermingling of maternal and paternal chromosomes and process ends with the intermingling of maternal and paternal chromosomes at metaphase of at metaphase of first mitotic division at the metaphase of first mitotic division of the zygote. Do you think zygote is an embryo or not? Yes, anyone good in embryology? Zygote is embryo or not? It is not embryo. Okay, anyone who says zygote is embryo, raise your hand. Anyone who thinks zygote is an embryo? <coughs> no one wants to be right. Write it down. Zygote is a unicellular embryo. Oh my God. So sad. Right? Zygote is a unicellular embryo. Embryo is the early development of the product of conception, isn't it? So development of product of conception starts from zygote. So zygote is an embryo which consists of only single cell. Is that right? Okay, let me repeat. What is fertilization? The simplest definition is fusion of male and female gamete. Is that right? This is fertilization in the simplest way. Or fertilization is a molecular and cellular process in which, which, which begins with the contact between the oocyte, contact between the oocyte and sperm. And this process ends with the intermingling of maternal and paternal chromosomes at the metaphase of first mitotic division of zygote. That is the beginning and the end of fertilization process. Right, okay. Now what is the most common site of fertilization in human being? Which is the most? Ampla of? Ampla of the fallopian tube or ampla of the uterine tube. They are ampla of many other things in the body. Right? So it is the ampla of the fallopian tube or uterine tube. Uh, what are the different parts of fallopian tube? What is this part called? This part. No, these, these processes are called fembrae, but this part of the, it is, it is not called ampulla. The first part is infundibulum. Infundibulum. Then here is ampulla. Ampulla is the widest and the longest part. But earliest part, this one, is infundibulum. Infundibulum is catching the ovum. Is that right? And then ovum moves in the ampulla. And ampulla is the ampulla of the uterine tube is the most common site where most commonly you can say fertilization occurs. And then this is ampulla and then this is isthmus and 
than intrauterine part of the fallopian tube. Is that right? Now, again, what we were talking about was that most common site for the fertilization in human beings is yes, ampulla, and ampulla is having these finger like processes which are called fembria. Is that right? Now, for example, let us suppose that fertilization is going to be at this site, okay, at this point. It means ovum have, has to reach here, has to be transported here, and sperm are deposited where? In the uterus or in vagina? During ejaculation, sperms are semen is deposited in the vagina, right? So sperms are deposited over here. This is the semen, right? And sperms are present within the semen, isn't it? Now, sperm has to have to travel from through the cervix, through the uterine cavity, through the fallopian tube up to this. It means therefore fertilization process to occur, male and female gametes should reach up to ampulla. So ovum should be transported after the ovulation when ovum is released, right? At, during the process of ovulation when ovum is released, it should be transported to the ampullary region and if fertilization is going to be there, then of course sperm should also be transported uh, from the upper part of vagina through the cervix, through the uterine tube, through the isthmus and then until ampulla and there they should fuse. So really before we really start talking about how the fusion process occur, we should talk about how ovum is transported up to this point and how sperm is transported from here to here. First we talk about the ovum. Do you know ovum travels less and sperm has to travel more. You can understand it well. It's a very feminine feature. Women like to travel less and wait more. And men get almost wild to travel as long as they can. So sperm is have some manly feature and ovum has some feminine feature, right? So ovum travels less and sperms travel a lot, right? Ovum is motile cell or immotile cell? It is immotile. It is not motile on its own. It doesn't have any type of cilia or tails or anything, right? Ovum is immotile. Uh, sperm is of course highly motile, healthy sperm has a tail and that uh, really propels the ovum through, uh, sorry, propels the sperm through all this process. Is that right? Now, first we will talk about transport of the ovum, then we will discuss about the transport of the sperm. Because transport of ovum is very few things to talk about. The first of all we will say that at the time of ovulation, right, graf uh, mature graphene follicle ruptures and ovum with some fluid, ovum with surrounding follicular cells with some flu fluid is expelled out on the surface of the ovary at the time of ovulation. At the time of ovulation there is a inc certain increased level of FSH and LH, especially there is a dramatic increase in the luteinizing hormone level at the time of ovulation just before few hours of ovulation, right? As soon as ovum come out with the follicular cells and these follicular cells, right, they rearrange around the ovum and these rearranged cells are called cells of corona radiata. These are called cells of corona radiata. So ovum comes out with the fluid and this ovum has zona pellucida around it, which is the glycoprotein cover and it has a few follicular cells which are now called corona radiata cells. 